Meantime, health officials are feverishly working towards strengthening the island's capacity to manage the COVID-19 pandemic as in-country cases increase. The ministry is refining structural and operational plans for the respiratory hospital. Herma Dimac has the details. Countries in the region and the world continue to adjust and innovate plans and methods of dealing with COVID-19 as numbers increase and new cases are recorded. St. Lucia is in the process of upgrading the respiratory hospital, which serves as the place for treatment for confirmed cases of the virus. The respiratory hospital, once Victoria Hospital, currently operates at two-thirds of its capacity, holding 82 beds. It is being upgraded to its full capacity of 126 beds. The upgrade is funded by the World Bank. It includes the cooling of 44 additional rooms to make them more habitable. The Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Benson Emil, further explains the process and timeline of retrofitting the hospital. The reason for the, the, the time lag is that in the original design, the equipment that would be required to, to retrofit the, the cooling would have to be imported. Uh, it was recognized due to supply chain issues that it would have taken six to eight weeks to get that equipment you know, on ground and installed. So we, we proceeded to, to brainstorm and then you know, the decision was made to make another submission to the World Bank, you know, changing the design slightly so that the equipment required could have been procured locally. Funding acquired from the World Bank will also provide necessary medical equipment to the respiratory clinic, such as ventilators and oxygen lines. From the Government Information Service, Hilma Dimark reporting.